Hi guys, we are in a little bit of a different setup today. I'm actually sitting on the floor and I am traveling right now. I'm in Georgia and I forgot my tripod. So uh, the camera is just like straight ahead on this air vent thing, but I think it worked out decently. I have lighting. Today's video is just gonna be like fun and casual. It's gonna be kind of like a story time type of video. And you guys know I do like my experience type videos and I always get really good feedback from you guys on those. I was talking to my mom yesterday and we were laughing and kind of like reminiscing on old stories and things throughout just like high school, middle school, my childhood that me and my siblings have done that made her probably so like mad or frustrated in the moment. But then now looking back, we can kind of like laugh about it. This story actually goes along with a campaign that Olay at Walmart is running right now and the campaign is called hashtag that you can't even really see that this is a hashtag, I'm trying to do it. Hashtag sorry mom. It was pretty fun to actually come up with the story that I was gonna tell you guys, cause um, there's just too many to choose from, honestly. I'm sure you guys can relate to this idea of kind of just causing your mom wrinkles. With LA, both you and your mom can enjoy the memories without the wrinkles. <laughs> so it all started the first time I ended up coming back from LA to Georgia. I used to have my car here, obviously, and now my car is in LA, so whenever I come back home to visit, my mom or dad, usually my mom though, is kind enough to let me, Megan, use her car while we are here. And I really, really, really don't treat my mom's car differently than I treat my car. I obviously try to be as careful of a driver as I can. However, I think the first winter break that I ever came back, both me and Megan really kind of ended up messing up my mom's car and it was like a series of unfortunate events for the Prius. My mom drives a silver Prius. The Prius is in good condition. It didn't really have, you know, any scratches or anything like that. And then winter break rolls around and I remember I was driving to a concert and I had to park in Atlanta in a very, very, very very compact parking space in a small parking garage in between two cars. I pulled into the space. I think I was coming out to try and reposition how I went into the space because I obviously didn't get it right the first time. I'm terrible at parking. I was readjusting and I think we had the music up really loud. I just remember even over the music, me and my friend could hear and it was just like I reversed too quickly and I completely like hit the back of my mom, or the front of my mom's car against the side of another car, and that car was already parked and left alone. So I was freaking out because this has never happened to me before. I ended up calling my dad, and we left a note with like my phone number, insurance info for the other people, and they were very nice and cool about it, but I was so scared to tell my mom because that was, you know, the first time I had done that to any car, and it was such, 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 a complete accident it just happened super quickly and I remember my mom was upset but I told her mom I'm gonna pay to fix the scratch and everything like that like I promise and my mom's type person she was like I don't even care about like you know a scratch or two so I'm just I'm it's not that big of a deal to me it's whatever so she never ended up fixing that and then I'm yep this is the exact same winter break I drove her car to Nashville for a concert with my friends and I was once again in a parking garage trying to go into the tiniest space it's like scary how small some of these parking garages you guys in like cities are I remember I was having difficulty pulling in the spot and I didn't want the same thing to happen one of my friends offered to pull into the space and do it for me and there was a large yellow pull right here on the left and once again pulling into the spot we didn't hear anything this time and we didn't notice we thought we just pulled in and as soon as i opened the door there's this huge yellow paint scratch on the other side of my mom's prius i felt so terrible about myself i was just like especially because i didn't even do this one and i'm like i'm not gonna tell my mom that that was my friend like i'm gonna fess up for it so the next day i think she actually was in was asleep when i got home and she found it the next morning my mom was definitely mad about the second time but at the same time again she was kind of just like you know what can you do like it was an accident i felt so 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 bad so at this point i was like mom i am taking your car, I'm getting the scratches all fixed, I'm paying for everything. That's the only physical damage that I think I've done to my mom's car, but I don't know what it was with me and my mom's Prius this winter break. That same winter break, 
I definitely got pulled pulled over for speeding in my mom's Prius two times. I remember them distinctly. The same trip when we were going to Nashville for the concert that I was just telling you guys about, about the yellow paint thing, on the way there, I get on the highway, I start going like 90, I don't even know, maybe faster than that, and like within 10 minutes of being on the highway, I got pulled over and I got a large speeding ticket. So yeah, I think I learned my lesson. Nothing has happened with me in the Prius since winter break, like a year, a year and almost a half ago this was. She doesn't even want to get it like fixed, honestly. She does not care, but I still tell her, I'm like, mom, I want you to get the scratches off of your car if that would make you happier. She doesn't seem to mind them at all. That's the story that me and my mom were talking about yesterday and laughing about. So now that I told you guys one of my many <laughs> sorry mom stories, I want to hear you guys' hashtag sorry mom stories. LA and Walmart are having an awesome giveaway if you guys do want to share your stories and I would absolutely love to hear them. Cringeworthy, whatever it is, we want to hear it. You guys can visit olaysorrymom.com and definitely check out Olay products at Walmart for their everyday low prices. Now as I said, I want to hear you guys' sorry mom stories. So if you guys share on social media, you can do it on YouTube, on Twitter might be too short, you could do it on YouTube, you could do it on Instagram, you could do it on Facebook, you could do it in the comments of this video. If you share your embarrassing or cringeworthy sorry mom story with the hashtag sorry mom, you're going to be entered and two of you guys are going to win an awesome prize from Olay and that is a Olay Regenerist regimen set to gift to your mom and also one for yourself and a $100 Walmart gift card as well. So two of you guys are going to win those things if you share your hashtag sorry mom story and there's going to be one entry per person though that is the only thing. It is actually not international so winners are going to be limited to the US so please only enter if you live in the US and you can share your story on any social media that you personally want to and you can tag me if you want to at beautybaby44. That is how you enter so as I said just one entry per person. I hope you guys enjoyed this different type of video. Let me know if you want other like story time or other my experience type videos. That is a series that I do or whatever else you guys want to see. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I hope you did. I love you guys so much. I hope you know that and I hope you have an amazing day or night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!